Hello everyone, welcome back to Chen Immigration Quick Take. We hope you're doing great. Mexico stands on Mele and Novoa following the violent embassy attack. The new presidency of Claudia Sheinbaum in Mexico marks a significant shift in leadership with key implications for both domestic and international relations. Sheinbaum has garnered strong support from the US, exemplified by the visit of First Lady Jill Biden to congratulate her on the becoming the first female president of Mexico. Sheinbaum's victory secured with over 60% of the vote has also been recognized by various world leaders, bolstering her position as a prominent figure on the global stage. However, notable absences at her inauguration raised questions, particularly regarding the lack of attendance from the presidents of Ecuador and Argentina, Daniel Lobo and Xavier Millet respectively. Millet, due to our previous aggressive actions against Mexico, is reportedly at risk of arrest if he enters the country, while Nova is facing financial challenges as Mexico restricts trade opportunities with Ecuador. Sheinbaum inherits a nation that, according to outgoing President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, is prosperous and free from foreign immigrants. Sheinbaum inherits a nation that, according to outgoing President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, is prosperous and free from foreign debt. Under Lopez Obrador, significant progress was made in economic growth and pension provisions, particularly for elderly citizens who worked in the U.S. This financial stability positions Sheen Bombs favorably as she embarks on a promise to eliminate poverty, increase minimum wages, and attract foreign investment. The potential renegotiation of the free trade agreement with the U.S. could provide further economic advantages for Mexico. Sheetbaum aims to ensure that any changes benefit Mexico while also fostering better working conditions for Mexican employees in U.S. companies. This approach is seen as a means to curb illegal immigration by creating more appealing job opportunities within Mexico. Internationally, Sheenbaum's presidency faces challenges, particularly from leaders like Mele and Nova. If these presidents maintain their positions, they may encounter difficulties accessing Mexico's burgeoning economy, especially with initiatives like the Inter-Ocean Corridor aimed at enhancing trade rules. Looking ahead, Sheen Bomb's relationship with U.S. leadership, including potential ties with Vice President Gamla Harris, will be crucial for Mexico's continued economic growth. Meanwhile, the support of world leaders and the commitment to punishing those who have historically exploited Mexico will likely shape our administration's approach to international relations. As Sheen Bombs takes office, the promise of modernization, economic opportunity, and international collaboration highlights a new chapter for Mexico, while also emphasizing the need to address past grievances with countries that have strained relations. The future of Mexico's economy and its role in global trade will largely depend on Sheen Bombs' leadership and ability to navigate these complex dynamics.